morning. I am the Gypsy and you're not. And I welcome you to the Rubber Biscuit Road Show, Volume 2. What you're looking at here, look, you can see my reflection, is you're looking at the front window of the Artist Alley Studio, where I am practicing a almost lost art, which is window painting. In this age of crickets, vinyl, and all of the things that that entails, I mean, instant gratification, suddenly just making letters and just plastering them on, there's not much need for window painters anymore. But here I am painting the window on this beautiful April Sunday morning. And as you can see, give you a hint there, you can see how I do this. I put a stencil on the inside of the window and then I come to the outside and I paint over it. It will take several layers before this is done, but done it will be, and when it is done, I will post pictures of it so that you can see it. You can see how thin the paint is right there. When I was in high school, my mother got it into her head that I could paint anything, anything in the world at all. I went to high school in Western Missouri and small town. At that time it was 1,073 people and my mom used to joke that me, my sister, and her were the three people. Otherwise there were going to be 1,070 in Weston. Anyway, my mom decided one day that I could be a sign painter. So doing what moms do, and not bothering to even check with me, she proceeded to go around town promoting me as a sign painter. I had no idea she was doing this until one day she said I needed to run down to the local butcher shop and talk to the butcher because he wanted to see me. Now, I didn't know why the butcher wanted to see me, I had no idea. And she wasn't saying, she was just kind of smirking. She was satisfied with herself. So I ran down there and I thought maybe he was gonna offer me a job. Now I was working tobacco fields at the time, but hey, you know, if I can work in a book at butcher shop, not out in the hot sun, what the heck, I'll go ahead and do it. He offered me a job, all right. He wanted me to paint him a sign that said, meat bottle. And I was like, okay, and he wanted it really artistic, he wanted it to look like ice, and he wanted pieces of meat on it and the whole bit, and he already had the board and he already had the paint. And he was willing to pay me a whole whopping $15 to do this. Now, back in 1973 or 74, I think it was 74, $15 was a pretty good chunk of change, you know, so I said, okay, I'll do it. He told me while I was painting it that my mom was the one that had turned him on to me. mothers, you know, they, uh, they come up with these plans for your life and they don't even bother to say that they have these plans for your life. So then began my career as a sign painter. And I did a few things. I did a truck. I wasn't real proud of the truck, and I don't think the guy liked it too much. And I really, to this day, I feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> if I could find him, I'd probably give him back the $35 he paid me to paint this truck. I, I did not do a good job. He was a plumber, and I did the best I could, but the lettering really wasn't my deal, and it wasn't really what I wanted to do with my life. So, I 
more or less for a couple extra bucks and to keep my mom happy, I went ahead and signed payment for a while. But you know, that little career quickly ended when I found out that there was an old African American gentleman in town that had done all the sign painting in town for years. And it's how he made his living, that's how he made his money. And I was like, why do I want to take this man's money away from him? You know, I, I could work the tobacco fields, there's other things I could do. It just didn't feel right to take away this man's gig. So I went and told my mom, I said, don't set me up anymore sign painting deals and she's like but you're so good at it i said no i'm not really good at it mom and i really wish you wouldn't do that and she said well why i said well i have my personal reasons but let's suffice it to say i don't want to take someone's job away from that well of course she was disappointed but you know what could she do i made up my mind so that ended my sign painting career So now I'm sure you're asking yourself, why am I practicing this ancient art that I wasn't really good at in high school today on this window? Well, the answer is that almost every single studio that I've ever had that was a success, I personally hand-painted the sign for it. I hand-painted the windows, I hand-painted the signs, and those studios were a big success call it superstition, but with opening up this new studio, I wanted to give it that personal touch, that vintage touch. So I decided that what I would do is I would paint the windows. Now, whether I paint the main studio sign or not remains to be seen, but I am going to paint the windows. just saw me make a mess up. Watch me correct it. With the coronavirus pandemic, everything has kind of slowed down. So maybe it's best if I slow down a little bit. It's kind of peaceful and it's kind of relaxing to sit here and do this and do it slowly and evenly and not really worry about how long it's gonna take because I have all the time in the world because we're still on lockdown. But the nice thing about this is is that I get to add my own personal touch to it. This window will have a part of me in it. And when it's all said and done, hey, you know, I can proudly look at it and say, I did that, a machine did it. So, watch me finish painting this R and then I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Give you a little hint here. It takes a steady hand to do this. Especially if you don't want it to look like a five-year-old did it. Of course, I've been accused of having the mentality of a five-year-old, but you know, everybody has to have something right.
Like I said, this will take several more coats. It's going to take at least two more coats for it to be done and look decent. This is just the first coat. It will have to set for 24 hours, and then I'll come back tomorrow morning, and I'll do the next coat. Maybe that's the difference between when I was in high school and now as an adult. When I was in high school, I was always in a hurry. I was always impatient. As an adult, I have a little more patience. I mean, not a whole lot, but I have more. But I'm not in so much of a hurry as an adult, and I'm willing to take my time because I want it to look good. Come to think about it, maybe I'm missing my calling. Maybe I should have been a sign painter. <laughs> yeah. Right, no. I'm a tattoo artist. I'm proud of it. So until next time, this is the Gypsy saying hasta la vista, baby. And, uh, you know, I don't like that. Hasta la vista, baby. You know, it's a little overdone. How about a hasta la vista taco? <laughs> See you later. And um, you all take care. Be safe. Be healthy. And this is the Gypsy saying bye-bye.